What is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a new tutorial. This is going to be the um, boss fight tutorial. It's going to be basically like this. And I'm going to be using these two filters. Add potion effect to mobs, which is, I think it already comes with MC Edit. But I'm not too sure. If it isn't, I'll have this link in the description where you can download it here. And create good mobs, which is also downloaded here in the description. Thanks to Sethling for both of these um, great filters, they'll be used a lot in a lot of adventure maps. So basically this is my mob. Um, he he has fire resistance and regeneration. He's got a diamond sword and a diamond chest plate. So I'm just going to show you the effects. he's not burning he's not getting injured he's yeah he's not taking damage right now I'll take that out and it's gonna be take it's gonna take longer for me to kill him because he's well it's because he had regeneration but I think I only put regeneration one on so it didn't really matter and that is my regeneration no that's my um, electric keeper spawner I'll do that in my next tutorial if I get likes on this video I'll make custom spawner tutorial alright so basically we want to start with the making the mob I'm gonna put him in full diamond so just get diamond armor it can be anything it doesn't have to be diamond and something for it to hold I was gonna make it hold a diamond it's, hold on yeah I'm gonna make it hold a diamond alright so this one is what the one what the mobs gonna be holding this one's what the what's gonna be wearing and this is what it's going to be put on his chest and then fit and I didn't get legs, alright that's fine I don't need legs and um, I'm going to make it drop a piece of redstone instead so I can act so once you killed the mall once you killed the boss you can make it activate a piece of redstone or something to get to proceed so we're going to open up MC Edit and remember we do have I do have the downloads to the filters in the description <coughs> If it loads, alright. So this is the mo This is the chest. It says chest containing four items, mostly diamond. Alright, so you go and you click twice on it, not fast, otherwise it will bring up other options like this. Just click on it, and make it a region, then filter, then create geared mobs. Then it's going to be a skeleton, and these are the percentage of things dropping. I think it's out of ten. And I definitely want it, it has to drop the redstone, so I'm going to make that 10. And then I don't want it to drop anything else. Yeah, so I'm just filter, and then press control, and then S. And then that saves everything that you've done. Then you must close down MC Edit. Go back into your world. And then we have the mob here. It looks kind of retarded because it's wearing pants with nothing else. And I'm not going to kill it yet to show you the redstone because I want to add the, I want to add the other effects. And it, as you can see, it's holding the diamond, which actually looks quite cool. All right, so now I'm going to add the um, the potion effects to make it stronger. And also you can check out my other tutorials. I've got lots of map making tutorials. Um where is it? Okay. So this red square is my mob. So you just want to select the region, make it high, and it doesn't need to be wide. Alright, so filter, add potion effect to mobs, which I've already got open, which is the first one. And then you've got all these and it tells you which ones do and don't affect mobs. So I want it to have no, mob, a boss wouldn't really have poison. It would have strength, so I want it to have strength 5, and I always want it to have it. So, press filter, then press control save after each one. You don't need to do that, but I just do it in case. Um, water breathing, and one more I'll do. I would do jump boost, but skeletons don't really jump. So I'll just do fire resistant. Oh, and regeneration. Regeneration makes it so it has more health. And I'm not going to do five, otherwise it'll be invincible. 
and then press Control S to finish it. All right, so we're basically done here. So we can close that. We go back into our world. Alright, so as you can see, he's got the particles coming off him, and I'm gonna kill him and make and see that he drops his piece of redstone. And it also take longer to kill him because of his red regeneration and because of his armor. Oh, um, must be out of a hundred. The add mobs, um, the get mobs thing. I think it must be out of a hundred then. Or it just glitched up. Whoa, there's a lot of mobs. Alright. So yeah, that's basically this tutorial on how to make a boss uh, boss fight. And check out my last tutorial to make sure that they don't despawn. Otherwise, they will despawn during your map. And yeah. Next tutorial, I will make custom spawners like this. Oh, crap. Sh yeah, maybe you should not have done that. <laughs> Fail. Alright. So yeah. So next tutorial, custom spawners. Thanks for watching guys, remember the downloads are in the description, check out my other tutorials and yeah, goodbye.